Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Mastin and today I'm doing an unboxing of our curriculum for next school year. So the 2024 to 2025 school year. It's crazy to me that this is already like being thought about. Truthfully, I'm a little early this year, but um, I will be delivering sometime in May to our twins and I just know that you know there's going to be a whirlwind of things happening so i just wanted to be prepared ahead of time and so hopefully you guys find this video helpful i'm going to be sharing what i'm going to be using for my soon to be third grader and uh my three-year-old which he'll be four by that point uh son so um, if you guys are new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I post anything from homeschool videos to some homemaking to some just like home transformation videos. So if you guys find any of that intriguing or something that you'd be interested in, definitely click that subscribe button so you can be here when I post videos just like this one. Okay, so I'm going to start with one of the things that I've been super excited about. Uh, the Good and the Beautiful actually announced this. Uh, I think on Thursday of this week and it was the new math boxes and so I'm super excited because we received ours and have been using it uh, my daughter started math too a little bit ago and we're just going to continue this through the summer so we are doing math level two here and that's the course book and then uh, this is the new uh, math two box and one of the things I love about it is how much smaller it is. If you guys are familiar with their wooden boxes, they were a little bigger. And for us, not having a homeschool room, we really don't have a lot of space. So this has been nice to store. This fits right in our little drawer where our cabinet is. So my daughter's favorite part, I had to ask her before I started this video, is that she loves that she can open it. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with the wooden boxes, but uh, they slide on and off. And she always had so much trouble getting that on and off and making sure the pieces were like fitting in there. So she loved that she could open it. So um, I really like these. They are a lot smaller. There is this little magnetic closure and they're hard. Like they look kind of cardboardish, I guess on camera, but it is like a hard, sturdy cardboard. So I feel like they're still really durable. Uh, the other thing I really like uh, about the math too, I can't speak for all the math boxes, but I really like that the clock is inside the box now. So one thing um, I noticed when doing lessons with her was just kind of having to make sure like that big old top was there. So it's nice that it's just a small little clock here that kind of fits right there, you know, where we need it in our book. Um, so this, as you guys can kind of see here inside, I do like to keep ours in the baggies to kind of keep everything in place. But that is the new and improved box. Okay, now one thing I do want to mention is if you are to purchase the curriculum here soon and they still have the wooden boxes, you still will receive a wooden math box with your order until they're completely sold out. And then once they're sold out, they will start sending the updated version. So that's just something to keep in mind when you look on their website to see which box you'll be getting. If you prefer this box, then you may want to wait until those wooden boxes are completely sold out and then you will receive the updated version or if you <laughs> loved the wooden boxes then get on there and you know order it as fast as you can because they will be selling out and then they'll just be gone um, so there's that okay and then another exciting update that they just shared this week was that they are doing a summer reading program and then May 1st I believe they're starting this bookshop so um, Jenny Phillips, the uh, creator of The Good and the Beautiful, actually had a big announcement on all of this uh, on their YouTube page. So I ended up purchasing some books for Lila for her summer reading, not realizing they were bringing the summer reading program back. So that's super exciting. Uh, and if you are one of the first, I can't, don't recall the number, but they're going to give out a select number of free books for the summer reading program so they're just such a generous company and we actually did it not last summer but the summer before and this was the book we got with the summer reading um 
program so that was super awesome so hopefully we um, you know get signed up and can do that again this year but they also have a summer reading program for free on their website like the list and so I already printed that out trying to prepare for this summer because like I mentioned in my last video I am going to be delivering twins here in May so I just am trying to be prepared um, so anyway so that that's one of the things I plan to have Lila do this summer is just kind of continue on with her reading we're also going to continue working through her level two math here and then I would love to continue doing this on our fun Friday so I just talked about this in my last video if you guys didn't catch that definitely check it out but they released this this month and I'm so excited this is the third version of the little hearts and hands science and we have loved the first two versions so this is the sparks and stars and we do one lesson a week we're actually going to be doing our first lesson uh, this coming Friday so um, I will definitely be sharing that over on Instagram so if you're not following me over there I tend to do a lot of our you know behind the scenes day in the life of homeschool so um, I'll put my handle up here so you guys can check that out but we will be continuing this into the fall because we haven't finished up all of the lessons and the others I may pull from those as well uh, but this is recommended for preschool to second grade and although my daughter will be entering third grade in the fall I still feel like this is such a great fit and it's super helpful to be able to teach multiple children so um, as I said in that last video I include my three-year-old which he'll be four in the fall but uh, in on these lessons and he enjoys it so much so I just like him to be a part of it as much as I can so we will continue this into the fall as well now one of the other things I like to implement in our homeschool is morning time and I feel like my kids just know what to expect with that now. We start it with our morning time being our morning menus from Treehouse Schoolhouse which I'll link below and we still love those but I felt like we needed more so I ended up picking up the handwriting from The Good and the Beautiful and we have loved that so my daughter finished um, I started her right at the level K because I wanted to just like do a, you know, full, like full through. So we did level K. She worked through level one. She's in level two. And then I got the level three handwriting for the fall. And I, like I said, love these handwriting books. I feel like it's, you know, easy for them to do independently. So it allows me that time to do what I need to do in the morning. And then my son, he's always like, where's my work? So I decided to actually get him a handwriting book for the fall. And this is for ages two and a half to five years old. So this one is their doodles and pre-writing for littles. I just purchased the part one for now. They do have a part two version of this, but it's just like a lot of line tracing and stuff. So I think this will just allow him to feel more included and he'll have his own little book when my daughter is doing hers. So I'll just end up putting these in their morning baskets with their morning menus um, and that way they know what to expect in the mornings and they can just do, I for my daughter I just have her do two pages each day. And then I decided to have Lila choose an elective for this year so um, if you're not familiar with The Good and the Beautiful they have a lot of just like elective um, books as well and I was looking at the typing for her but for going into third grade I was like I don't like feel like that wasn't as important right now so she ended up I had her get on there with me and she chose the creative arts and crafts notebook and this is for grades K through K through five so um, I figured this is something else my son can do and I just plan to implement this on Fridays like I said in probably multiple videos now, we do Fun Fridays. And so uh, Fun Fridays just consist of our science. We do an Osmo activity. Um, we do spelling tests, any course assessments that day. And I want to include this as well. Um, and then that's also where like our baking and stuff takes place. So this is peacock prints. I had some really cute ones. I was kind of browsing through this before I got on here. Uh, leaf print pendant, Japanese cherry tree. So a lot of cute little crafts in here. And I 
lack creativity when it comes to crafts so I'm super excited to have that and I know my daughter uh, was really looking forward to getting this book as well. The next thing we'll be doing is math level three so um, this is the course book for that and I was browsing through this and I'm just amazed like every time I think that <laughs> Their stuff is good, it gets better. One of the things I love, and I noticed this when we got our level two book, is that they updated the binding. So I know they announced that a long time ago. Truthfully, I don't know when, but I do remember. Um, and it's just like a lay flat binding. It's just so awesome. One of the things I love about the Good and the Beautiful is they truly listen to customer feedback. So I feel like if there's something you don't like and you share it with them, they do try their best to just listen to the mass majority of us um not that i was one to complain about the binding but i'm very happy with those that did because now it's just it's a nice update there so uh this is the math three and like i mentioned earlier in this video if you purchase like right now which i don't know when you're watching this in real time but if you purchase and they still have the wooden boxes for that level then you're gonna get the wooden box which is totally fine truthfully i don't mind this one either but i do really like the updates to their new version and who knows maybe i'll end up getting on there and purchasing the newer version just because my daughter really liked it a lot especially like I said being able to open that box there lastly uh, we are doing language arts through the good and the beautiful again next year and so this is the level three course book and honestly you guys I guess I didn't pay attention when I was putting this order in I thought they sent me extra books so I popped on there and realized all of this actually comes with this so that was super exciting if you're familiar with the younger levels you normally get like the uh, reading booster um, cards and such but this actually came with four level three books so here you have Timothy of the tenth floor the kingdom of kind the journey of five and Heather in the Highland Pony and so these are just awesome books I guess we'll be reading I haven't looked too much into it yet um, and then also the spelling practice book so this is correlated with that language arts course book um, and if you're not familiar the Good and the Beautiful actually allows you to print their PDFs of the language arts and math for free, which is mind blowing to me because like it's such good value like that they're that generous to give it away for free. So that's truly been a blessing. I have printed off course books in the past. However, I just prefer now because it has been kind of difficult to keep up with the printing and I'm not really crazy over my binding machine, so um, I printed, I believe it was Lila's level one, and I just prefer to get the hard copy, but if you know, you're know you looking to save money, they do have the PDF version available to you for free, so I find that super generous that they you know, provide that to us homeschooling families. So that is pretty much my curriculum haul for next year. Um, for those wondering about history, we plan to just continue with uh, what we've been using this year, which is the Playful Pioneers. Um, the Good and the Beautiful will not be releasing their history, I believe, until after um, this school year starts, like the fall school year starts, so it'll be in 2025. So we will just continue doing the Playful Pioneers, which we have truly enjoyed. So um, that is pretty much it. I'm looking around here. This is awesome. I get so excited about curriculum. I know when they started, the boxes started showing up at our doorstep, I was like, oh, I gotta get into these. But I wanted to take you guys along and you know, so you guys could see what we're using for next year. And now if I can give any advice for curriculum, it is that number one, be okay with something not working. I feel like that is something I learned early on in homeschooling, but I didn't allow myself to like just <laughs> let go and uh, once I came across the good and the beautiful and it was actually through YouTube videos like this just listening in and hearing other um, homeschoolers you know point of view was when I decided to try it and you guys it has truly been 
such a blessing and life changing in our homeschool. And um, the only thing I can speak for, like I said, my opinion and my experience is that I love the low preparation of the Gun the Beautiful. They make it so effortless for us as home, you know, educators just to have that open and go style and not have to put so much prep time into, um, you know, figuring out what to do that day. So I like the open and go style. It's given me a lot more confidence to teach my daughter and it has also left me a lot more enthusiastic because I felt like that pressure was removed that, you know, maybe like showing up unprepared or showing up where like I over prepared or I was prepared, but I just felt like stressed out because I was, you know, having to prepare so much ahead of time. So I love the open and go style. And if that's something you're looking for, then definitely check out the good and the beautiful because I know um, that has been, you know, a huge blessing in our home school. And that's not to say like, sometimes I feel like if I share that, it's like, well, you're just lazy. <laughs> you know, you don't want to prepare ahead of time. I do prepare plans. I have a lesson planning book, which I will also link. I love it. It's a minimalistic homeschool lesson plan through the school nest. And I plan everything out, you know, a couple weeks in advance typically. But like I said, I like that the, you know, actual course books are that open and go style. And then, like I mentioned in the science um, for little hearts and hands, there's very low preparation for this. The only thing you have to prepare a little ahead of time is the activity supplies you may need for those. So if you're interested in learning like more in depth about this, I have another video sharing the ins and outs of that. But other than that, that is pretty much it, you guys. So I know it was a lot. Hopefully this video wasn't too lengthy for you guys, but I'm just super excited to get started on next year and looking forward to our summer plans and just continuing, you know, on track here with all of this. I do recommend if you are looking at the good and the beautiful, maybe you're switching into the good and the beautiful, definitely get on there and have your child take the placement test. That was something I did right from the beginning to figure out where my daughter placed as far as levels go for language arts and math. And that was super helpful when purchasing curriculum, just knowing like where to place her. And it may not be, you know, the grade level that your child's on. I actually started her at the kindergarten prep course we went through level k and so i took her all the way back just so that she would have you know the appropriate skills and um things to build off of so um that's pretty much it so if you guys have any questions i'm an open book definitely leave it in the comments and i will get back to you guys and um like i mentioned earlier I do sh tend to share a lot more on Instagram in real time, so check me out over there, and um, that's pretty much it, you guys. So I hope you all have a blessed week, and I hope this video was super helpful.